you know, I, I bought trailers in my Phoenix home and I rented out trailers in the backyard, 800 bucks a month. I'm renting a travel trailer for wow. So a trailer that you see on the highway driving by you. I nice. put it in my backyard, plumbed it. I rent it for 800 bucks a month. And I told myself, who the hell is going to pay 800 bucks a month? Now, let me tell you this little story. It's a paradigm shifts all around us. Who's going to pay this? I, so at first I was like 850. I lowered it to 800. Then this guy comes, he sees it. I want it. I want to rent it. It's so clean. I can't believe how nice it is. Now I live in a completely remodeled new home. So I don't see the appeal of the trailer, but I sure. am not the one renting $800 trailers. Okay. Right. <laughs> and so it's like, this guy comes in, he tells me, I'm not, I show it to another person. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. This is only 800. I'm like, what's going on? Only 800. So sure. then the guy rents the place. He comes over, he goes to move in and he goes, no, the only thing, the only thing I wish was different is I wish it had AC. And I'm like, you rented a place in Arizona that you think doesn't have air conditioning for $800 a month. And of course the trailer's got AC. So this guy rented a uh -huh. room, a trailer uh -huh. from me for 800 bucks a month and didn't even know it had air conditioning in Arizona. Wow. Okay. So like when we think we don't know other people's situations, like, and to this day, he's like, you're the best landlord I've ever had. And I'm like, well, you're the best tenant I've ever had. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what I mean? My number um, one tenant. <laughs> but it, it really. And so, you know, guys, so I just want to share with you and all that you're doing is you say, well, I wouldn't do that. Well, great. You didn't, you didn't create your business to serve you. You are you. You created right. your business to serve people in me. You know? I love that. I love that. And that's so true because you, you're, you're feeling a void in the marketplace. You've identified a niche, a void. And even though you wouldn't necessarily do that, maybe right now, but if I often say we wouldn't do that, but if push, if push came to shove, we might very well be doing that. Yeah, you know, keep a roof over our head. Um, but you're, man, I love that statement. Just, you know, you didn't build a business to serve you. You built a business to serve other people. 